except for the fact that it left a trail of coolant the whole way of the garage i should probably do something about that however if we have any mice in the garage that should solve the issue a really? puddle of coolant, coolant on the ground well if they do they uh it's one of the <laughs> last things they do um i actually hopefully the epa isn't listening to this one but um I, I had to I had to drop coolant into a garbage bag when I drained it, and then I left the garbage bag outside untied or anything last night. So uh, the, some of the wildlife around here may have been affected. Great, that was very nice of you to do that. Yes, but I did tie it up today, and now it's in our garage, uh, right under the mold. So maybe. <laughs> Perfect. Yeah. Yep. It's just also that's probably why I'm coughing. <laughs> yeah, the, it's not Newports you've been smoking. It's our garage. It's your. That's the garage fumes. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Just, uh, I was kind of hoping you'd sound like a smoker again. No, I'd smoked. Earlier this week, he was uh, on, like Marge Simpson or something. I smoked less. I smoked Fewer less Newport. Newport. Yeah. Did you start recording? Yeah. Oh, excellent. Yeah. Ah, welcome to Daily Motor, everyone. Every now and then I think I could like record ASMR stuff and then I watch real ASMR and I'm they, like, this is creepy. They put a lot of work into it. That that too. Yeah. I'm not willing. It's, to it's, some, it's, it's one of those things that looks really easy <laughs> and then you're like, wow, okay, actually this is, there's, there's a lot of work goes into it. Right. But, um, maybe we could do car ASMR. Well, no, I looked that up too. Oh, does that exist? Yeah, it actually, certainly exists. Of course, time, everything's sexualized. Th sure. I once saw this car asmr video of this woman shouldn't it be called asm car that would make sense she was in like this old pagoda roof mercedes okay and she was like scraping her nails on every surface and it was just so like ugh. i stopped watching after like 30 seconds because it was just why because you got too erect well a number of reasons oh it's a boy i don't want to watch what are you doing to my car <laughs> i'm just joking Oh, it's it's taking its sweet time to come up on the TV. What are you doing to my car? <laughs> uh. Oh, it's restricted. Yeah, that's probably a good thing. <laughs> we're gonna uh, we're gonna turn who's that restricting off. it? Hansons, <laughs> likely. <laughs> who's definitely not the people we're getting our internet through? Chris Hansen. Why does he have a keyboard in the car? Don't you carry a keyboard in your car? I do. Does that help you with your reviews? He's also like popping yeah. his mouth. Mm -hmm. I do that. This is exactly what I do while I drive. If you watch any of my daily motor reviews, uh -huh. very similar to what's going on in this. Although people that are watching can't see it. Or people who aren't watching can't see it. This has twice as many views as any of our videos. How many views does it have? 357,000. <sighs> there was right, one then. I saw that was a woman in a Mercedes. Um, I just, that's what that's the one I saw. Yeah. A, oh, yeah. I think maybe was we it, saw it the a same classic one. Classic Mercedes. No, this one was a new oh, one. Oh, this was like a '60s Pagoda roof SL. This is a uh, a car wash ASL. Pagani Wyra. That'd be pretty cool. I'd just like to see. It. That's not ASMR. That's unplug. That is. That's yeah, ASMR. This whole topic got started because we decided to drink LaCroix today to start the video. Yeah, cheers, bro. What episode is this? This is episode 18, 18. of the Daily Motor Podcast. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for tuning in. Actually recording this on a Sunday, which I'm not a huge fan of working on a Sunday, but because I am flying out tomorrow to drive mm -hmm. the Kia Sportage, as it's is it now Sportage pronounced. Is it Sportage or Sportage? It's Sportage. Sportage. But it should be in Sportage. In Europe, they say Sportage. Do they? Mm-hmm. You know, interestingly, and I, I'm really thinking this was a typo on Kia's part, but I was reading through their press material prepping myself for the trip, and yes. it lists it as, it says very confidently, uh, we consider this to be a subcompact crossover. Okay. But that's incorrect, right? Because it says it competes against RAV4, CRV, and everything. Those should be compact. Subcompact is like HRV. Echo Sport. Echo, yeah, that, the tracks. You didn't even want to say the name. Yep. No, yeah, no, that's, well... So the Sportage so, is very cl it's it's the Tucson. Okay. Which is remarkably large. Yeah. For especially even for that class. Yeah. And they increased every 
dimension of the Sportage for 2022, so it's it's very much a large car. So, or maybe I guess it's 2023 technically. Yeah, definitely 23. Yeah. So I don't I, I don't think it's actually a subcompact. I think it's a compact car. They for just any of you typed watching. sub when they should have typed nothing. Right. Exactly. Mm. But yes, welcome everyone. It has been a boring week because we've been driving luxury compact crossovers. Yeah, well, they weren't that boring. I guess yours wasn't. You had the BMW X3 M40i. Why don't you tell us about it? Mm-hmm. Well, that car, the saving grace of that car is the engine. because. And, and how did you describe that engine? Which word? A masterpiece. It really is. It really that is. B58 because is. that B58, you've Muy got bueno. 382 horsepower, right? So you're you're closing in on that 400 horsepower mark. Yeah. Zero to 60 in four seconds. And it can do 31 mpg on the highway. That's the EPA rates really the, the most impressive part. But I just went out literally an hour ago and yeah. got 31 mpg. Insanely yeah. impressive. Also on snow tires. Right. Um, well, not, o- not only did you get magnificent fuel economy with snow tires, I was able to do faster around the on-ramp in the BMW with snow tires on oh, right. winter tires than I could with the RDX on its well, uh, RSAs. Okay, well, hold on a sec, because RSAs are the worst tire ever. Still apparently have less grip than a winter tire. Well, yeah, because it's the Pirelli snow tires. Of yeah. course, they're, they're, a, they're a high-performance snow tire. That's a good point. I'm sure they loved that 80-degree entrance ramp I took, I took this morning. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, yeah, no, that, that car, in in many ways, it's not very impressive for the segment. Like, the interior materials and the seat comfort. Yeah, interior design. Rates, other luxury features. It costs 67 grand or 65? 65. 65. Yeah. 65, yeah. Base price on that car is 58. So that car doesn't really have very, have very many options. It no. has the premium pack, which is heated steering wheel, heated seats, and then it has um, carbon fiber trim, which is a $300 option. That's that's what let me go so fast around the on-ramp. That's why you were able to go so fast. The, the lightness of the trim. Exactly. It doesn't hold you up with all the heavy wood or metal. Yeah, if I had wood in there, or yeah, then it would have gone like probably 50. would have rolled it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> High center of gravity. Right. So it's 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 a good car. It's it's not class leading anywhere but really the powertrain. Um, I that's also a- don't like the facelift. What? I think it looks so much better. I like the front end better. Okay. But I don't I don't like the taillights. Which is interesting because those are very similar taillights to the 2 series. The 2 series. Well, yeah, they look okay on the 2 series though. <laughs> hey, you know, Daily Motor has uh, stepped up our game recently and Why? Big, um, because we now have a staff member oh, we in, in the studio Hello. with us. Uh, staff member, could you please look up what the German word for magnificent? <laughs> Uh, 22 x3 rear end it's probably like 16 syllables this is a german word yes yes you know the thing that these these tell look you know, like those look they look good when they're lit up however when they're not lit up it's oh yeah he- he- hellish there's an l in there hellish Oh, a little slower that time. Hellish. I like Magnificent better. Uh huh. Sorry, the Germany. one weird instance where the American pronunciation of the word is better. longer yeah. than the German one. Yeah, good point. The, these lights, you know what they look like? Is the um, if you ever played they look Halo, good in that picture actually the the Halo sword that you use. I don't, I don't know, know if you ever played what you're talking about. Um, let me uh, let me show you here. Halo. Oh, yeah. See that design? They must have a weeb on their design team. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't mind. I do, think, I do admit it looks kind of weird in like this photo where yeah, it is... Uh... It's, well, no, it looks okay because it's lit up. <laughs> okay. But go to the previous generator, the, the, the pre-LCI. I think it's there. I think it's that one. Or not. Yeah, that yeah, looks better. But it, it also looks more generic. That's true. I would rather have a slightly less universally appealing design. Uglier. That is, yes. Okay. No, that, that's fair. That is no, I different. Get that. I get that. Yeah. It's like the Pontiac Aztec appeal. Exactly. Yeah. Oh, I spelled that very wrong, but they still understood. I did not like the previous front end of the X3. Front. I thought that looked so... Something in weird bulbousness of, of the front, <laughs> the headlights. It's a lot, it, it it's a lot more aggressive now than it yeah. was um, yeah. before. This looks much more, much more handsome. Yes. Yeah. 
The X3 truly is the driver's car in this segment. That is where it ex- it's, it excels. Right. Yes. But for me, I don't understand why is a, a someone who prioritizes driving buying a compact luxury crossover. That is what pisses me off about the X3M. Why does that car exist? <laughs> I, 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 it's if you want to be a tool higher up. I literally said that in my review. I was like, you've got three levels of X3, right? Three and a half. You've got your 30i, which is your fuel efficient daily driver. The only one really people should be buying. Right. It's like the mom car. Um, it's, if, if my mother were to buy an X3, that's what she yeah, would get. Yeah, sure. You've got the mid-grade, which is what we were driving, the M40i. And then you have the sunglasses, tank top, tan skin, Miami X3M and M competition. I genuinely cannot think of a reason why you would buy that car unless you wanted to tell people that you have it. Yeah, because why not just get an, a 3 Series M3? An M3. Or an M4. Because the X3 is going to be best on the track, right? The X3M is going to be better better on the as track. As opposed to on the road. Right. right. It's going to be better on the track because we drove one of those in um, California and we rode to the track and I was ill. I was nauseous after yes, we rode to the track. as were all the passengers and yes. they were sore afterward. Yes. Because you, regardless, you, even Eco Pro mode, it's, it's impossible to drive it smoothly. You can't drive that car smoothly. It's and any horrible. bump you hit, it just radiates I through the cab. That, I amplified. hate that car. Yeah. I hate it. That and the Subaru Ascent are probably up there as worst cars. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Anyways, if you own an X3M, I'm sorry. Yeah, don't you have a buddy who owns an X3M? Yes. I don't think he listens, though. I hope not. If he does listen. It's not going to be your buddy anymore. Brian, get a different car. (laughs) Tell us about your shirt. Mm. (laughs) No hat today because it's 80 degrees outside. That's right. I'm stepping away from beanies. It's summer now. Uh, You need to get... what What you need is uh, designer headbands. I do. Do they make... We need to, uh, yeah, yeah. We'll Our some. assistant will, will find um, us some headbands. I, so this is way too, it's a little large. Tad. But, that's the, like the but you know, well, I don't think NASCAR clothing comes in anything aside from yeah, large. This There's is like large, XL. extra no, large, XL. 3XL, 4XL. Yeah. They, don't, they don't believe in medium or small. Well, so I found this at the thrift store. It's from 2003. Um, that's um, it's Matt Kenseth's car. Yes, it is. I'm going to pretend I know who that is. I don't know anything about He was a nice car. guy. He was a cool was guy. He? Okay. Yep. Mm-hmm. Uh, but yeah, I just thought it was cool. So yeah. It's but an old the, Ford Taurus you know what's funny is, car. This is an XL. Winston it's, Cup. This being an XL, it's the smallest article of NASCAR clothing I've ever thrifted. There you go. See, I just told you. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they don't believe in they don't believe in smalls. Mm-hmm. In fact, XL. it was interesting. I think we were just last episode or two, we were talking about the uh, the Winston Cup. And that, that is oh, back is that when, when is? NASCAR it says it's two thousand three NASCAR Winston Cup. Because that's what their their top in fact it says it down in the logo as well. Oh yeah. yeah. He was the champion. Gosh. I think he was the champion within like his first or second year of racing, which was pretty cool. You racing top tier racing Winston Cup. This is back when they just like their cars were like just the generic sedan. Like yeah, I never Ford understood the Taurus. What was it was it? a Dodge Impala. Intrepid and Dodge the, and, Intrepid, and, and, and Chevy the Impala. Impala. And those were the only three. Yeah, well, there was Pontiac Toyota, had the Grand yeah. Am. Pontiac oh, right. or Grand Prix. Grand Prix. Well, Toyotas used to be Camrys, and now what is it? Supra. Um, in the top tier in the, in the top cup i think they might still be camrys but yes in the in the second tier down there's super yep yeah. and now it's it's challenger well, well it's it, all dodge, just, dodge isn't in it it's anymore so it's, just, it's camaro and mustang it's the same car with different well, plastic well, different but yeah mm-hmm. how are they different well different motors for one um really yeah and slightly different aerodynamics but, but they packages. have they have to meet the same it's all very very it's very very i mean we're talking within like millimeters but yeah. there can be slight variations okay yeah and 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 I mean they still build the motors, so it's just like you can have five different companies build a two liter turbo, and yet like some are much better than others. True. Yeah, it just so. looks like a bunch of colorful pieces of plastic driving in a circle to me. So. Sure. Have you ever attended an NASCAR race? Yes. And the okay. only thing I remember from it is when Jeff Gordon came around, everyone stood up and flipped him off. Yeah, isn't that they interesting? They hate that guy. Yeah, it's because I, he's because he's not he, he's <laughs> he's not Dale Earnhardt. Put it that way. This is the only thing. <laughs> It's because he's not from North Carolina. Yeah. So they hate him. He doesn't have a southern drawl. Yeah, right. Yeah. That is, Where is uh, he from? He's from like the mid... I'll look it up. Well, we have a staff. We have where, staff for this Look up where now. Jeff Gordon's from. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know, Jeff Gordon looks quite different now. He's looking quite aged. Well, he was, he, that he, does happen. Yeah. Yeah. yeah it's, it's remarkable. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he's put on all the way. But he looks good. You know, he's, there you That's go. Why that, he's him. a Cali boy. He has That's West Coast <laughs> yuppie. It was just it, liberal. It's kind of um, <laughs> it's it was it was funny to me because like 
as if Jeff Gordon is seeing you. Like he's he's looking up. Oh man, they're flipping me off. <laughs> oh, they're, they're like making it a point to like they're like standing as close to the fence as they can, flipping him off. It was just ugh. My mom used to say people don't like Jeff Gordon because he enunciates. Mm. Yeah, it's probably mm-hmm. correct. Yeah. So that's the X three M. Would you now if if gun to, gun to your head? Oh yeah, mm. not M M forty I. It's mm-hmm. a half. There M. are a remarkable amount of M badges on. I think truck. I counted them like twelve to fourteen Something range. Like that. Yeah, a yeah. Lot. Did you see the X three that was on the B pillar? There's an X three logo. If you no, open the driver door, it says X. You open the rear door, it says three. Oh yes. So if you have that. both open, it says X three. Yes, I did see that. Okay. Yeah. But anyway, gun to your head. Would you say it's a good car? Which one? The one outside. Oh yeah. Yeah. Because of the engine, and the styling, and the way that it drives. All right. So from our three from our three perspectives, uh, how is it to drive? Clearly, quite good. good. How would it be to own? Mm, fine, because it would be efficient, and you could put stuff in it. Okay. And how well does it excel at its purpose? How well does it achieve its in its mission? purpose of being sporty, or its purpose of being utilitarian? I would argue, based on its class of vehicle, it's the compact crossover, lo- compact luxury crossover class. So it should be luxurious. And crossovery, that's not very good at either of those things, right? No, because of that, I would hesitate to put it in good car, good car status. I think anything with a B fifty eight is a good car. That's that's fair. That's a bold take, but I think mm-hmm. I could uh, I could probably stand by that. What else? Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. You can Speak- have that engine in mostly every BMW now. Speaking about, I think in fact you can probably have it in literally every BMW, right? Probably, I can, mm, maybe not, not the, the X two. Yeah, not the X2. Or you X1. used to be able to get the six cylinder in the X2 and X1. Did you really? Yeah, first gen. It was awesome. It Speaking was, uh, of the X2, mm-hmm. you know that stupid video of the Tesla Model S jumping in California yes. and crashing? Uh, someone did it in an X2. Oh, did they? Recently, yeah, last week. How did that go for them? Uh, they crashed. <laughs> Big surprise. It's on YouTube, though. They took um, pool noodles and uh-huh. they tied them around the wheel arches to make like the wide body effect rally oh, car. Goodness. And then they jumped it Idiots. and crashed. Idiot. Yeah. So this, the first generation X1 was actually a rear wheel drive based car. I. Yeah, if I'm not mistaken. And oh, it probably, was. Oh, uh, probably, because that's just a one series underneath. There's yeah. Two series. Yep. And it apparently was a hoot holler and a half to drive. I had a friend in college that had an X1 uh, six cylinder. Okay. M Sport. So it had the M steering wheel, mm. sport seats, M A lot of wheels. M badges. It was cool. Yeah. He, um, he liked it, except it never ran right. Ah, you'll, you'll have that. Check engine light permanent um it was a cool little car though yeah that's a, this is the downside of those um bmws of that age is that just yeah. you can't own them i think it was an n55 in that car well speaking of single turbo in the b58 and how it goes in everything bmw released the new 7 series did you see this i did yes i'm very torn on how to feel about it because obviously everybody on the internet hates it because every time a new car comes out everyone hates it sure but uh something about the the if you gloss over the front end i kind of like the proportions Mm -hmm. of the rest of it yes quite i like that rear a lot yeah the the rear's nice the side profile's nice interior is a movie theater in the Mm -hmm. back a movie theater Mm -hmm. which flagship would you choose however you know what i don't like Uh, what now you can't have a v12 anymore so now the v8 is called the 760i uh well you know number inflation is a real thing in is. in, no, in the automotive the world at it yeah bmw well mercedes is not great either but bmw no, is not. probably the worst funder because literally they can never go down no, bmw will, no will refuse buy it. right right there will never be like another 323i this is for people that walk into the dealership and want a new 7 series mm-hmm. and the salesperson's like oh well, let's get you into seven you're coming from a 750 let's get you into a 760 oh what's the difference oh it's a different it's it's, it's different. bigger <laughs> bigger number yes same engine bigger number it'll be 740i 760i 750e and i7 now that i7 i'll be i'll be very interested in that drive. should be pretty good yeah because it'll be well look, it's hard it's hard to get any smoother second. than an electric EQS, power eqs what do you think the eqs looks like an egg so what do you think looks better that or the eqs this i quite like this uh yeah. look i don't i don't care to see it in black but well, because um, it covers up all the weird. Yeah, I need to see it in, in a bright color. Uh, actually, the Ooh. one the one at the auto show. Oh, the badge is. Oh, yeah. it's not coming up in here. I'm There's, sorry. Something's wrong with the badge. Yeah, they've inflated the size of the seven, which I can see 
why they might have thought this was a good idea because it's the seven series and it's the 60i yeah. is kind of the designation. I like how but you that stopped. looks horrendous. It looks toyish. It looks so bad. It looks like you like have a model of the car and you like painted the seven on too big when you were putting the or when people put <laughs> fake M, uh, okay. like X drive or M badges or whatever on their BMWs yeah, and it's, and it's not, you could big. clearly, it's just not the right fit. At that all. looks like it was put on by a body shop that didn't have the stencil up. <laughs> the trunk. Um, did you see the one that was in a lot of the press photos at the auto show? It was two tone red to that and up silver. In just a moment. I would like to point out in this image, why the flat bottom steering wheel in a luxury car? Oh, I love that steering wheel. It looks great. I love flat. What's wrong with flat bottoms? It makes it easier to get in and out of, you know. But the whole, it doesn't look right in a luxury car. That looks sporty. And I don't want any sport well, it's a in my luxury car. They're, everything they do now is sporty. Literally every single car BMW makes is sporty. Well, I don't want my luxury car to be sporty. And that's why I'd take an S-Class. Okay. Well, it's always been that way. You've always been And apparently to... it always will. Uh-huh. I'm just, I'm telling them want, what they need to do to make it better and they're not listening. Well, yeah, but if you want to be more luxurious, you get an S-Class. That's just how it is. But I'm sure BMW would not like to hear that. I'm sure they would like They're, to be seen as the most luxurious. Yeah, maybe. So if they would like this, round <laughs> steering wheel. Yeah, change the bottom 10% of the steering wheel. Set. Well, it's just like the Corvette. They wanted to make the Corvette more sporty, so what they do? More square on the steering wheel. It is No, it, it not more square. It is a square. <laughs> well, technically, it's a rectangle. Is it? Yeah. It's like longer on top than it is on the sides. It's not like a perfect block. It looks like a perfect it's block. It's not a Charlie kind of. Brown or Flintstones wheel here. The seats look... Both good and scary at the same time, says Eurospin. Yeah, they look like that weird. What was that thing we sat in at the that event? The IX, which we will be getting here. That was like a long. peeled cow inside. A peeled like a, cow, like a King Ranch F one hundred and fifty. You're right. That is that is an that accurate way to describe it. Like. Is this the no? Yeesh. Yeah, I. But we need to remember that ev- is gopping in silver. But everyone thought the seven series back when the Bengal designed it back in the mid two thousands was no, horrendous, and now hideous. we love it. No, we don't. We yes, do not we do. Love it. What the E sixty five? You don't like the E sixty five? No, I hate the E sixty five. It's a, an abomination. Would you own an E sixty five? Of course. Well, I wouldn't because it'd never run. But I'd like to look at an E sixty five. Look at what's wrong with this? Well, that one's an LCI. It's a little bit better. Oh, is it? That's the pre LCI. It's hideous. Here's it's why desirable. I don't like that, okay? okay? The generation before that was the best looking car BMW ever made. Quite good, yes. Okay. And then they went to this, which was arguably one of the worst looking cars they ever made. Now, do you say it's because of the front or the rear? Both. You the, don't like the bangle the butt? The bangle butt. I quite like this car. I don't. There, I, there's nothing about that car that I like. What I especially don't like is when you see them lent, leaned over to one side, sp- billowing white smoke <laughs> out the back, which is what all of them do now. Right. Look, that's it's a stupid that's interior. What's Look wrong with the interior? It's, that appeals to both individuals who want a tan steering wheel and a black steering wheel. And it's, it's round, so you like it too. Yes, right? more luxurious than look the at new the, car. Look at the iDrive. It looks great. There. They contour it into the, into the dash. Yeah. That is good. This is a nice car. I'm it's gonna buy one of nice these. Car. You're not gonna buy one You're right, of those. I won't. It's too impractical <laughs> for me. Did they do a hybrid? Uh, they do an active hybrid? <laughs> they did. No, they those didn't. definitely don't run anymore. <laughs> I think the first hybrid was the F01, the gen after this. Okay. Well, you sure know your BMW generation chassis codes pretty well. I do. Every I know every 7 Series. Fair enough. Except the new one. I don't know what that's, that one's called. So the only saving grace of the X3 is the B58. That's right. You should look up the two-tone new 7 Series. Right. 2023. Do you know the chassis code of the new one? No. I just uh, said I didn't. Oh, sorry. I don't, often don't listen. Okay. That is a white interior in there. Very that. remarkably white. This must be... That's the, the car. That's an iX. Oh, that's an i7? No, it is an i7. No, that's an, that's an i7. Yeesh. Go to the... Uh, pick, uh, there we go. No. Uh, oh, you were looking for like right yes, here? Yes, that's the car. No, that's no, not that's, the car. No, that's the previous one. Yeah, well, the one you just, you, the one you had just clicked on was, was the car I was thinking of. Yeah. Oops, we keep bouncing around here. That's the concept. Yeah, uh, it is ugly. You're right. <laughs> that's the, the long and short of it. Although the two-tone does make it look better. Someone was complaining on Facebook and they were like, we live in a world where the Chinese sedans. I think I did see that yeah, one. There was like a Trump yeah. G that just came out that looks better. But you know what? It makes a statement and I respect it. For it that. does absolutely make a statement. And in Miami, that's really all that matters. Right. And that's where a lot of these are going to go. <laughs> right. Right. Very true. Um, 
kind of in the same way that the Rolls Royce isn't arguably attractive, but it does make a statement. It does make a statement. Mm-hmm. Yes. The and, Dawn and the. I don't think the EQS is all that attractive either. It isn't. It, I just it looks like an egg. Yes. Yeah. But that's. It's to, it's efficient though, right? All uh, you'd have to you'd have like to think. Egg. Yeah, that the egg shape is, uh, is. I don't mind the look of that. I mean, I don't think it's super attractive. Something even more hideous came out from Mercedes this week. Oh, did it? The uh, GL EQS or whatever it's the GLB EQ the GL no the, nope the SUV version of this car the GL S GL EQ GLS EQ the, something whatever the EV <laughs> thing is the the SUV yes there it is the EQ GLS nope that's that's a render that's a render okay. Uh, how about this? I'll I did do see it. Mercedes EQ, and I'll go to news. Mm. That's it. Oh, <coughs> it's just called EQS EQ, EQS electric SUV. Huh? That doesn't look bad. It doesn't make a statement, though. You're right. It doesn't make a statement, but it, I, I don't think it's ugly. Okay. Go- <sighs> It's just, I don't know. The naming is. Oh, they're going to build it in America. Good. That'll be nice. America. I'm sure there will be no interior rattles in that at all. Of course. <laughs> um, I think I got, oh, I was going to say that would be a fun tier list for you to put together at some point is uh, most attractive like you could either do by brand most attractive like automakers by brand with new cars or like a list of you could do a top 10 list of most attractive cars of like new cars well i was gonna say like most attractive cars of the 20 teens and most attractive cars of the 2000s oh, like top 10 or i could do or one of seven. the 2000s and just put the e38 7 series at the top it turns out that your whole list is bmws and we're like <laughs> wait a minute we gotta redo I this could do, i could rank bmws most attractive BMWs. Yes. You'd get a lot of uh, a lot of comments. I on would that. because the E38 would be you you're wrong. first. Yeah, I what think you might want to consider putting that together. Uh, the Z8, I think, is just gorgeous. Primo. Um, the two. Mm, God, there's a lot of good looking BMWs. There are a lot. Oh, I, the I liked the 8 series, the original. 8 yes, series. the E31. Oh, and the M1. M1. That's a good one too. <laughs> the original 8 series is. Just, it's got pop up headlights. That automatically makes it incredible. Yeah. Wasn't there a Z1 as well? There was. Only in Europe, though. We yeah. didn't get that in America. All right, yeah, there are have... just at the age now where people are importing them. They yeah. have those, the doors that... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait a minute. I thought there was a Z8. No. No, the Z8 has the steering wheel that the center doesn't move. Oh, uh, okay. And the yeah, cluster's yeah, yeah. in the middle. Yep. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Are you sure the Z8's doors don't go down? I, I mean... I... Bet you a million dollars. Yeah, I'm sure you're right. Yeah. But uh, I'm just... You know, I'm going to challenge you for shits and giggles here. Yeah. BMW Z8 doors. That's an X8, which is a car that will probably come out soon. Why does that car need to come out? Is it for people that have an X6? Oh, you know why? They're probably killing the X6. You're right. It said it's showing me results for Z1 doors. Well, yeah, because right. that's the Z1. Yeah, yeah. I, okay. <laughs> <laughs> you just wanted to triple check. Gosh, I do love that Z8 as well, though. Oh, it's going to. This is a 2000. Is just... Thanks, Doug. Now we're demonetized. <laughs> And the Chromecast is going to freak um, out. That was back in his era of blown out audio. So. <laughs> this is the <a> wrong <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, I remember, um, I think, well, I don't know if it was last time we were in Chicago, but last time or time before, Bentley Gold Coast had their doors open and there was just a Z8 right inside. And that's the only mm-hmm. thing I looked at. We walked in, looked around the Z8. Emily can confirm this. Literally, I took a picture of the Z8 and then just walked out and didn't look at any of the other cars. <laughs> What color was it? Silver. Mm. Silver with black interior, I think. Nice. Yeah. So, next car we have this week, the Acura RDX. Oh, yeah, we haven't talked about that yet, have we? And a bit, a little bit of a tough time reviewing that car. I can see that. It's definitely not bad. There's nothing bad about that car. Yeah. But there are better options for just about every person in that class. You want more yes. efficiency? Get the NX. You want more tech? You get... Again, probably the NX or the Genesis. GV70. Yeah, you want a more a more of a style uh, impact? GV70. You want to go faster and have more fun driving? X3. X3 or SQ5 or something. Right. Yeah. So it's it's kind of a like bridesmaid car yeah. in that 
It's good. I it's like attractive. It no, it is. I think the biggest standout to that car for me was how solid <clears throat> everything was inside. Yes. It's just turn signals. The turn signal mm. stock. Yeah. It's you a good a lot from a car by touching the turn signal. You stock. really do. Yes. Yeah. Very mm. solid door opening and closing. The materials everywhere felt good. There was no mm -hmm. nowhere in it was like a material that I was like, this doesn't seem right yeah. here. ELS 3D. A tier, a -tier. not tier. S. There was something S. weird happening in the upper mid ranges, mid to upper mid ranges, where you turn music up a little louder and it's just kind of harsh on your ears. And you're like, uh, I don't quite love this. Turn maybe I blew the speakers out. No, no, no. Because I remember the same thing with the previous, uh, the TLX ELS. Oh, okay. Same thing. That was, was, was that A as well? Yeah. The thing is with those systems from Acura, they sound really, really, really great when you're listening to music a little easier. Like you're just cruising, kind of having it on the background. Sounds excellent. When you really want to jam, it doesn't quite hit that S tier. Because like like that S90 that we had, you could turn that up pretty much as loud as it would go to where your ears hurt, but it wasn't harsh on your ears yeah. still. It was oh, still well we balanced. One of those. I just want it to sit and listen to music. Yes. Same. Yep. Just be a $60,000 pair of headphones. Yep, exactly. Yeah. So I, I, if anyone came up to me on the street and was like, hey, uh, I really like the RDX. Should I buy it? I'd be like, yeah, go for it. If you like yeah, it's it. It's a good car. Great. But if someone came up to me and said which car in this class should I buy, it wouldn't be the first thing. That, to and we talked about this earlier this week about how that has got to be the most competitive and difficult class it of is. car yeah. to compare. Right. Everything's pretty good. Everything's good. Yeah. Everything has its, has mm -hmm. its, you know, unless we're forgetting something, but I really don't think cause uh, the GLC. Yeah. I thought of the that'll GLC. Be, that'll be new next year though. Yeah. yeah and that'll so. help. I'm sure it'll be like an it'll, electric version. It'll probably be really good next year. Even the Model Y, which is technically in that class, oh, yeah. is, has its own merits. Yeah. Yeah. I haven't uh, driven the Q5, so I can't say. It's good. Yeah, it's a better, sure better 2-liter turbo than that was in this. That's good. Yeah. This is not a bad motor, but again, it just it was not inspiring. No, it's quick. It's, that It's quick. It's, it's quick. It's quick. It feels yeah. like it has more than two, 272 or whatever. Whatever it has. It, it feels just, like it, three. But, but when you start to push it, it's just like... <laughs> like it, just, it just falls off. There's uh, nothing about it like oh boy. Like well, this the, is the the ten speed transmission helps it feel fast because it's always in the it's power always train, in power yeah. in power train. And I only had, I only had a few few stumbles and they were very subtle. Other than that, it shifts very smoothly yeah. just about all the time. It's no ZF eight speed like you get in the X three though. Eight gears is the right amount. That B fifty eight with that ZF eight speed it's just perfect. I why can't every car just I know have that power yeah train? it is the best yeah, at, at the end of the year. For uh for the ten best not ten best but uh daily motor good car awards that's going to be uh will be the motor mm, the, oh yeah yeah the best motor award that'll be for sure yeah very good very best powertrain I should say yes yeah because yeah, on our board we have a whole list of good and bad uh car attributes that we've yeah, been keeping track of some B fifty eight something up well, there we should put it up tomorrow when you come in there. yep moving on oh, so Acura RDX oh, good uh, it's a it's a nice car but not yeah. a daily motor good car status award oh no. It isn't. It isn't. <laughs> Why? It's fine. You just said you liked it. Yeah, it's fine. There's nothing wrong with it, but put it this way. Your mother's in this class. Are you going to recommend an RDX to her? I'm not going to not recommend an RDX to her. <laughs> You're right. You're not going to dissuade I'm her. Trying to get if it. she came to you in the morning and was like, son, I'm ready to go buy a car. I want the Acura RDX. You'd be like, cool. Yeah. But but you it hasn't come up yet, has well, it? Well, currently, what? What do you has, mean? It hasn't, like... She sat before, in it. But before this week, you hadn't been oh, like, no, she you should be considering the RDX. She didn't know it existed either. Exactly. Um, no, her she's she found out the the Lexus K, NX came in orange, so now she's like dead set on a Lexus NX. Good, yeah. If, if she doesn't get the hybrid, then oh, I told her she has to get the hybrid. All right, good. I was like literally they're, trying they're, to come up with some appropriate level of violence to your mother. Oh, right. But like, yeah. Well, you know, it's it's cheaper aggression. to get the hybrid. It is. Yeah. So why would you? Not yeah, there's zero reason to not get the hybrid yeah. in that car. Anyways. Yeah. So okay. This week. This week. What are we getting? We are getting Land Rover the, Defender 90 V8. Supercharged 5 liter is V8. Is it supercharged? It's supercharged 500 horsepower. It is going to be a ruckus. I'm looking forward to it. It's going to have a lot of like pull. Well, like body roll. And stuff. Oh, yeah. It's going to be cumbersome. Yeah. You won't be able to get stuck in that car because you could dig down to the upper mantle of the earth That's with right. your wheels and then yeah. get yourself out that way. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's going to be a lot of fun. That'll be a good one. And then the. Mazda, Mazda 3 Turbo hatchback. Yeah, yeah right. which hatchback. Yep, yep, hatchback it's probably going to be gray. Red. Oh, oh, it's red. Yes, I yes. love that's one that's of my the favorite best colors. Mazda so color. crystal Such red. Such a deep red. Mm -hmm. It's it's mm -hmm. it may be red the crystal. best red. Yeah. 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 I think it's yeah. one of my favorite car colors, mm -hmm. especially like mainstream car colors mm -hmm. that aren't like one-off type things. Yeah, it's quite good. 
uh, and has gotten about a bajillion views for the Topher. So I hope that we That's right. see success oh, yeah, with that card like as well. Three, he literally it's, filmed it last week or whatever, and it's, it's at 300,000 Yeah, it's probably closer to four at this point. It's mm-hmm. really and it's the one he filmed last year is well over a million. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that car is like a perfect the Topher car. It is. Kind of sleeperish, comfortable, luxurious, right. also sporty, manual offer. But uh, also, can no, you get a manual with the Turbo? No. no. Um, why do so many people watch the video and then not buy it? Probably because it's expensive. They probably wish right, but, they could buy that car. But the thing that sucks with the Mazda 3 Turbo, and we'll see if we agree with this at the end of the week, there are better cars in that class. Yeah. Especially since they fucked up the rear uh, seating room in that car. You what can't have legs and sit in the back of a oh, Mazda really? 3 hatchback. I've never tried the back seat. It's know. unfortunate because the previous gen Mazda 3 hatch was excellent. And then the new one is too small in the back. Bev Braga has a previous gen Mazda yeah, 3 hatch. And it's, it's a speed too. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, she has a better car. Fact, that's how we could get a million YouTube views mm. is compare her car. She lives like five minutes away. Yeah, we should hit her up. See we if should, she'll do it. We mm-hmm. should actually do that. Mm-hmm. Mm. Excuse me, I'm just... Boy. Destroyed everyone in the microphone with your by hitting my, my lemoncello Lacroix. That is the best flavor, though. That is quite good. Is quite uh, good I like though. the I like the Skittles flavor as well. What's why the green huh? the green oh, kiwi key one. lime? Yeah, yeah key, key lime is good too. Yeah, yeah, Skittles. Thought you were hiding it. It's <laughs> a bug in here. How do we get a mosquito in this of all buildings? I think I killed it. Uh, which car do you think you would enjoy owning more, the Defender V8 or the Mazda 3 Turbo? <laughs> Probably the Mazda. <laughs> <laughs> because you you wouldn't have to be homeless to put fuel in it. Yeah. And yeah. I could like take it places. Right. <laughs> yeah. With, without being like a total tool. Yeah. I wonder if this will sound like an SVR car because the SVR uh, Land Rovers sound again magnificent. Yeah, they do. They sound insane. Well, and the Jaguar F-Pace thing. Yeah. Yeah. That too. Yeah. Yep. It might. I guess we'll see. I'll tell you tomorrow. We had the, on an airplane. We had the option to get the Jaguar F-Pace on loan. And SVR? I, yep. Why did you say no? I had to say no because Why? because what could we do with that car? Drive it around. <laughs> Content wise, <laughs> just film just a week of Chris just driving with a big grin on his face, like oh was boy, it yellow too. Yes, it was the same one. Oh, Chris, it, was. it was literally the same oh, car. The same car. Oh, yeah. Okay. And I, I don't. All right. Well, that would be kind of. I fun. was so sad to have to say no. Yeah. But there's we've why are, did they offer it back to us if we already had it? Because we got a loan canceled on the IX. Uh, I pace. The I pace got canceled. Oh, and they were, like, and they like were trying to give us something else. And I and he was like, "I can give you this." And I was like, "I hate to do this, but there's just no." Yeah. I mean, I've already done a sound test on that car. Did you do a fuel economy? I think you did. I it. think that's. I don't think so. I think the only thing I could do is fuel hit, economy. Hit Jaguar up and say we were going to run a fuel economy test on your thirstiest uh, yeah. product that you make. Last model year car. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I did tell him if nothing else comes up and our workload's light, maybe we'll take it and we'll figure out something to do. Maybe. Maybe. We'll I know. Yeah. Position that we can just maybe yeah, take maybe, the SVR. Yeah, yeah. And, and you and I would be like, oh boy, we get to drive this and be like, oh boy, we're going to be broke this week because we have to just constantly <laughs> bah, bah, bah. you just yeah. hear us around it, <laughs> Right. Yep. Yeah. So yeah, this will be an interesting week and I'm flying out to drive that Sportage so you will get uh, time and car of your choice for a few days. I think the Topher might come and drive the Defender. In the I days. figured he would probably do that. Yeah, he said he didn't want to take it home though. He just said he just will drive it around drive here. It. Yeah, I'll make some noise. with me. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Cool. I'll, I'll hit him up about that but uh, shall we transition into, into the Copart, Copart segment. segment? Yeah. You told me you've got something so good. So last week we looked at <laughs> I forgot what it was. Something that hit a pole. Oh, it was an Audi S4. Yes. Um, and you said that was the most <laughs> defined outline of a poll I've ever seen. Well, yeah. I have a treat for you this week. Oh boy, I'm excited. I have Give one me that's even better. Okay. Uh, 312 963 22. This is wow. <laughs> I mean, could, could you have centered it any better? It was just like the grill was lined right up. This is a 1989 Bentley Mulsanne. S, very important. They've got the Union Jack also. Maybe it was an anti-British statement. <laughs> it looks like they deliberately lined up to a pole and, and drove straight into it. Oh, good. They even have a head-on photo. Maybe wow. the hydraulic system went out just at that moment when yeah. there was a pole in sight, and they thought, well, we'll just throw the car away. That is remarkable. I don't know at what speed they hit it, but I'd oh, like to think they hit it a pretty Probably good like speed, 40. and it actually did decently well. Did, did the airbags even go off? I don't think it has airbags. No, the steering wheel bent in half, though. An 89 Mulsanne wouldn't have airbags? 
Probably I not. think they started having airbags in the I don't 80s. think it had airbags. Really? No, I don't think so. Hmm. Look at the steering wheel. It bent. Oh, oh no, that does look like it has an airbag, actually. Yeah. That is... Boy, their look at their that hands interior, were though. bracing. <laughs> they were bracing for impact, and it just bent the steering wheel. That dash looks like the dash in the Cullinan we're getting. Well. <laughs> huh. Yeah, that is... Did you just happen to stumble upon that? And you're yeah, like, I did. Wow. Well, I, was, I was looking at 80s cars on Copart. Oh, that's good. And, um, yeah. The, uh, for any of you just listening, the... What do you what do you call this bar? Like the bumper support or like yeah, it's just a bumper, crash isn't bar, it? Yeah, yeah, crash the crash bar, bar sits behind the bumper car. Is forked outward as though like a horseshoe. Like, yeah, like yeah. a horseshoe from the pole bending it out. That's amazing. Oh, here's another good angle as well. I like the X right there, isn't it? Yep, that's that's, that's the damage. The place. <laughs> there it is. Boy, what a shame because someone was really taking good care of this car. It's got hundred and four thousand miles on it. It lived its life. It's fine. It'll just it'll go on to help other bentley's but that interior is so clean it is that's probably why because it was driven someone like drove it and yeah. kept it huh. conditioned sad i wonder what they'll replace it with mm, oh look it looks like it hits so hard that it broke the rear axle see how it's like the wheels not at it it's the wheel is turned it towed mm, out could be could have yeah radiated through yeah mm. shock wave of the pole wow the tree. manufactured by rolls royce motors limited at how do you pronounce it? Crew? Also. Cheshire, England. Speaking of Rolls Royces from this era, I oh. saw a car carrier uh -huh. yesterday driving through Ipsy okay. in a residential area. I have a photo of it I can show you. Mm -hmm. A car carrier with a Rolls Royce Silver Seraph. Are you familiar with that car? I am not. It's very uh, close to this generation. Okay. I can just send you the photo if you want. No, because I want to bring it up for the world to see. What year? Ish? Oh, God. Just, just look they make up Silver them? Seraph. It'll come up. Seraph, S E R A P H, but it was just it was just at a house, and there's a car oh. carrier with a Focus and a crashed Jeep and a Fusion, and then just a silver Seraph on the bottom. It's very peculiar. I thought that was funny. Huh? It's a, it's an obscure Rolls Royce. It's 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 when Rolls Royce and Bentleys were the same thing. Okay. Because I mean, if you saw that, you just think it was a Bentley. Sure. Hmm. Would this be a good one for me to buy? Probably. They're very cheap. Hey. Yeah, no, they're not really worth anything. Maybe like thirty grand. Seems like or a sale. deal. That's good. Let's see, Hemmings. Oh, they'll just be expensive on there. Seventy eight thousand. Seventy thousand for yeah, a two-tone two thousand two. Yeah, but you know, if you wanted a, a very nice daily driver, I mean, think about it. You could either get this or like an E class. I'd probably have. Oh. Think about it. The eco, I wasn't this, has very, been, this isn't going to have any tech that's going to go wrong. This will probably yeah, but be... Yeah, it's a British car from the early 2000s. Yeah, but if you have a good mechanic, this will probably give you less headache than, the, than a new E-Class in three years. Because any, anything that breaks on this is going to be fairly straightforward, as long as you can wait to get parts. Well, I guess we'll, we'll, we'll know what our new challenge is going to be when we're like 20 years from now. We'll one of us, one of us will buy a new E-Class, and the other will buy a silver Seraph yeah. in mint condition. What motor is this? Maybe you'll just get a million subscribers well, overnight, and we can do it tomorrow. There we go. Uh, uh, Moran, if is you're listening, yeah. and you want to uh, sponsor us $150,000, uh, you can have both of the cars when we're Oh, on, that's right. Like. Yeah, or we'll sell them and maybe make a profit. That's true. Yeah, if you can find us a silver Seraph and an E-Class to buy, uh, ship them out to us. We'll do some content, and then we'll, we'll have our answer. We'll go on an epic road trip. Yes, we will make it epic. Can we? Uh, There's got to be some for like thirty grand. Yeah, that one's in Lansing. That's probably cheap. Forty-two, fifty. Yeah, there you go. There's some cheaper ones. Nine. Well, before the world ended, they were like thirty grand. Or you know what car I've always wanted? I'm blanking on the name, but I'm sure you'll be able to remind me. Yeah, I'll get it. They're the they're the newer cars that were made all the way up to like the '80s or '90s, but they looked like those like like 1910s, 1920s, like super ornate fancy like the rolls royce no no no, they weren't rolls royces it was like a brand that doesn't exist oh anymore. zimmer was it mm. yeah no it's on one of these it's this thing is it literally this car it does look like that yes no they, yeah the zimmer yeah that's it mm, I feel yeah because no they would take a fox body mustang and they'd cut the front off and then they'd put that on it maybe that is what i'm thinking of i feel like there was something similar to this that was because hmm Neo classic are, automobile. Yeah, um, it's supposed to look like a Duesenberg type thing. Yeah, yeah, that sort of yeah. Um, 
Quite popular in Florida. You'd never guess why. <laughs> Excalibur. That's what I Oh, thought. that's it. Yeah. Well, it's the all X the same thing. I mean, they're all the same. It's nice how Wikipedia can link you to that yeah. so fast. That's what I want right here. So that was that probably started life as a Lincoln Town car, it looks like. Uh -huh. And then they made it into... Because they don't have way. their own platforms. That is, that's its own thing. That's Well, that could be a Beetle, actually. I think they're neat. That is a Mustang. Okay. Or a Cougar or something. I'd happily drive one of those around. It's like the Corella DeVille car. Do you have more co-parts? I don't think I do, actually. That huh. was just... Here, let me see. I mean, I have some other ones on my watch list, but... Let's see if there's anything... That's all right. Well, you know, you. it's it's for work. It really it is. is for work because I'm preparing for the co-part segment. C -c -c content. Yeah. All right. I've got one more. Okay. Uh, four two four. Oh, oh, you're not oh, even on oh, there. Oh, yet. Jumping the gun. Jumping the gun. Four two four. Four four two. Seven two. This is a 2006 Lexus GX 470. You love finding cars in Flint, don't you? Oh, Has this one been shot? Best ones. Has Pure it been sale? shot? No, it's not been shot. It was crashed. Huh, it doesn't look that bad. Not bad, though. No, no. I kind of want to bid on it. It's a run and drive. Front and side. It would be a good tow rig for us to have. It would be. Around. Even though we literally had the option to buy the forerunner <laughs> yeah, as a do. good tow rig. And we're like, we don't well, need this. What if, what if that goes for very cheaply? Yes. It's got 231,000 miles. That's just nothing for a Lexus No, not at all. GX. It's just broken in. Looks very nice it'll inside. Do, it'll do that twice more. Honestly, this doesn't look bad at all. No, it looks... Yeah, it, it, the frame's fine probably the fender would require quite a bit of work because this might not be a separate fender it is it is oh yeah you just bolt it off really you think it yeah separate? oh yeah no they always do that with yeah. front ends all right um yeah you could probably drive it as is where's the well, side damage is it you think it's here or do you think there's something else oh is this say it has side damage secondary too? probably just the damage on the fender the problem is is someone from uh, the UAE will be buying this for twelve thousand dollars and shipping it over there. That is true. That there was a one hundred percent chance that that car is going to go over to Saudi Arabia. Yeah, yeah. unless you buy it, unless I, buy you it. can save can this save car it. from deportation. No, it can go over there. It'll be fine because then because they'll put a they'll fix it, kind of, and then they'll put a one JZ in it and they'll bounce it off the Revlon around sand dunes and they'll drive it on two wheels. Yes, on their It'll side. have a much better life over there. <laughs> We could do all those things, Chris. We, we could. could put a one JZ in there. Yeah, we could. And we could drive it on its two wheels. Yeah, but we're not princes, though. That's true. Yeah. You're not. Yeah. Uh, if there are any kings out there who'd like to make us princes, yes. Is then that we how can... it works? I, I think the. I think you have to. If there are any princesses out there who'd like to make us uh, princes, sorry, Emily. Um, <laughs> And then, then let us know. Hit us up at uh, charlie at the dailymotor.com and then we can buy this GX460, but you have to let us know by uh, within the next two days. Well, that's not going to help. Two because, days, 50 hours and three uh, uh, Eastern Standard Time, Wednesday, April 27th. Uh, give us half an hour heads up, so about 9.30 a.m. We don't know what lot this is going to go, but uh, let us know. Oh, it's a lot 50, so it'll be in the oh, middle. Yeah. Um, and then we can become princes and buy this car mm -hmm. and drive it on two wheels. Yeah, that sounds like a plan. That's a good plan. Speaking of Copart, I got all the parts off my Copart escape that I needed to. Oh, yeah. So it, uh, Chris pointed out that it looks better now. That it does it, look because better. Because it looks you like it, you, there's no broken parts on mm -hmm. it as much. Except for the fact that it left a trail of coolant the whole way of the garage. I should probably do something about that. However, if we have any mice in the garage, that should solve the issue. A really? puddle of coolant, coolant on the ground. Well, if they do, they uh, it's one of the few <laughs> last things they do. <laughs> Um, I actually, hopefully the EPA isn't listening to this one, but, um, I, I had to, I had to drop coolant into a garbage bag when I drained it. And then I left the garbage bag outside untied or anything last night. So, uh, the, some of the wildlife around here may have been affected. Great. That was very nice of you to do that. Yes, but I did tie it up today and now it's in our garage, uh, right under the mold. So maybe... <laughs> Perfect. Yeah. Yep. It's just also that's probably why I'm coughing. <laughs> yeah, the it's not Newports you've been smoking, it's our garage. It's your that's the garage fumes, yeah. Yes. Well they did warn us about how much it smelled like gas in here. Mm hmm But they didn't warn us about the black mold. No, they didn't. No. No, we need we need to get rid of that. We really do. Yeah. So it'll happen in a few months. After Stu brings in another contour SVT. Yeah, Likely. Right, exactly. Yeah. Yep. Well, thank you all so much for tuning in. It's going to be a little bit shorter one this week, but that's because we've had boring cars and we have things to do, like fly to Palm Springs. 
I was looking at the forecast for Palm Springs. The next 10 days, it's almost identical. It's like high of 95, low of 65. No rain. It's like, it's the most boring. It had to be one of the most boring places to live. Is it going to be raining in Salt Lake City when you go? Could be. It depends well, on what the Mormons want over if that happens. Really? Am I going to get stranded? Yep. Huh. Well, I think it's on my way home. So fortunately, I'm in my lounge. I'll get drunk. Okay. Good. Fair enough. Thank you for tuning in. And we will speak to you next week. Yes, we will. And uh, maybe with uh, the Topher as well. He's going to try to make it. Oh, fun really? Of ours. Oh, yes. good. Mm-hmm. That'll be fun. Come we need in. a third mic. Yeah. Yeah. We'll, we'll get something. Okay. We'll make it work. Mm-hmm. Or we could just go to the studio. Could go to the studio. Mm-hmm. But we're not going to go back, back to, the, to studio the studio because that's copyrighted. <laughs> Thanks, everyone. Drive safe. Mm-hmm.